picture, if you can, the human body with its head and neck missing and the four limbs removed. What you have left is the trunk. The trunk of the human body is made up of three parts. From above downwards, these are the thorax or chest, the abdomen and the pelvis. The thorax makes up the upper two-fifths approximately of the trunk and the lower three-fifths is made up of the abdomen and the pelvis. Running down the entire length of the trunk, down the midline in the back, is the vertebral column or spine and this acts like a strut. In the thoracic region, the vertebral column is referred to as the thoracic vertebral column and is made up of 12 thoracic vertebrae. In the abdomen, it's called the lumbar part of the vertebral column and is made up of five large lumbar vertebrae. And in the pelvis, it is referred to as the sacrococcygeal part of the vertebral column. The sacrum is a single bone, but in fact it represents a fusion of five individual vertebrae. So let's explore the interior of the trunk using this beautiful prosection and several others. Each of the three parts of the trunk encloses or contains a large cavity. Thus you have a thoracic cavity containing the two lungs, each in its delicate pleural sac, and the heart and various other important structures. The abdominal cavity, which contains most of the alimentary tract and the associated digestive organs, and of course the excretory system. And the pelvic cavity, which is packed with the pelvic viscera. In both sexes, these are the urinary bladder and the rectum. Additionally, in the female, you have the intrapelvic vagina, the uterus, the fallopian tubes, and the ovaries, all located within the pelvic cavity. In the male, in addition to the urinary bladder and the rectum, are the prostate, the seminal vesicles, and of course the intrapelvic segments of the ureters. Between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity is an actual physical muscular partition which we call the diaphragm. Between the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity, however, there is no such physical partition. In fact, the two cavities are generously continuous with each other through the pelvic brim. The pelvic cavity does, however, have a flaw a muscular floor even, and this is the pelvic diaphragm or the pelvic floor. Below the pelvic floor, or inferior to the pelvic floor, is the very lowest part of the trunk, and this we call the perineum. In both sexes, the perineum is occupied by the anal canal. In front of the anal canal, in the female perineum, are the vagina and the external urethral orifice and the female external genitalia, the collective name for which is vulva. In the male perineum, in front of the anal canal, are the scrotum, penis and the external urethral orifice. <laughs>